Do you guys want to know how to dominate with Ice Bow and rack up those back to back Grand Challenge wins? If so, this video is for you. Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome to Outplayed Iron, the channel that takes your game to the next level. In today's video, I'll go over starting plays, general and game plan tips for Ice Bow that I've acquired from various pro players. I will also share pro tips for Elixir counting and card rotation, especially with this deck. Make sure you sit tight as this video is packed with information which I guarantee will make you a better expo player so that you can rack up those grand challenge wins. I'll be covering the common mistakes in the end of this video as well. I will showcase games from this 12 win grand challenge to help you guys understand how Titan plays it. Make sure you watch the entire video to not miss out on the incredible gameplay and the pro tips that I'll share throughout the video. Let's begin with starting plays guys. So number 1, you can cycle your skeletons behind the tower. Number 2, you can cycle your log just for chip damage. 3, you can cycle your ice wizard as well. 4. You can play your knight behind the tower. General tips. You want to make sure you protect your ice wizard and tesla as they provide the most value and defense which can translate into attack when you offensive expo. You want to make sure you know how to rocket cycle and when to rocket cycle as it's a very important aspect to this deck. Number 3. You want to identify the deck your opponent is playing and understand what's his win condition. If you know what he uses to counter your expo, you can prepare before and make sure you have the cards and cycle to deal with that. The next two aspects that you need to practice and get down is elixir management and card rotation. Let's start with elixir management. You want to know roughly if you are up or down in terms of elixir as it can determine whether you can offensive expo or not. Make sure to check my elixir counting video to learn exactly how to count elixir and master it. Make sure you don't overcome it early as it's very hard to come back if you are tower down. This is a pro tip guys, make sure you don't overcome it by a lot of elixir. It's fine if you have to use less elixir and defend efficiently rather than over committing and not taking damage at all. This is very important when it comes to single elixir. The next aspect I want to cover with this deck is card rotation. Again guys, I've made a video on this before and do check it out for a more detailed explanation. You want to get an idea of what your opponent's win condition is and his counter to your expo. If you keep these things in mind, it'll help you a lot as you can offensive expo in terms of elixir. Now let's move on to the game plan guys. So let's start with the early game. Since you have Tornado in this deck, try to activate the King Tower as soon as possible. This will help you a lot during tight defenses. In early game, you want to identify what type of deck he is playing so that you can plan accordingly both on defense and offense. Most of the game, you want to play reactively and wait till you get an opportunity to pressure. You want to control the tempo of the early game. Pro tip guys, you can rocket a card next to the tower if it's more than 4 elixir. Late game, you want to start rocket cycling if you can't break through with your expo guys. Otherwise, just keep making positive trades on defense and pressure well with your offensive expo. You can start getting fancy here and start predicting plays from your opponent to outplay them. You can use your nato offensively as well by pulling his troops away from your expo to get more damage. Now let's move on to the most important aspect of the deck guys, rocket cycling. I'm gonna cover some pro pointers to make sure you're on the right track when it comes to rocket cycling. Tip number 1. Rocket the tower if you can also rocket a 4 elixir troop with it. Number 2, you can start rocket cycling when the tower is roughly 2 rockets and 2 logs from finishing the game. This can vary. Tip number 3, make sure to rocket cycle only when you know they can't pressure you or when their win condition is out of cycle. This mitigates the chance of them pressuring you by a lot. Tip number 4, make sure you have your defense ready after you start rocket cycling such as your tesla, ice wizard and nato. Now I'm gonna cover the common mistakes which will help you guys a lot. Number 1, Rocketing when you simply can't defend after you rocket or when he has his win condition in hand. Number 2. Not staggering your troops or splitting your troops and giving them a lot of spell value. Number 3. Make sure you know what you're going to do during the game. Have a game plan so that you can plan accordingly. Number 4. Spending more elixir than you need for offense or defense. Number 5. Make sure you keep switching lanes when you face spells and don't let them get a lot of damage on one side of the tower. Now let's move on to the 12 win grand challenge gameplay guys. Ok guys for the 12 win in this GC we're gonna be up against Hog Earthquake and versus this matchup you wanna activate King Tower as soon as possible and start rocket cycling him out. If he uses the Earthquake you can start expoing freely. Ok guys this is early on in the game and all we have to do is just play reactively and passively and make sure we don't do anything extra in terms of elixir. So right here we're just gonna cycle a knight at the back and he's gonna cycle his ice golem and we're just gonna cycle our ice wizard at the back we're just gonna play this very safe guys and we're just gonna react we're gonna play reactively and that's how you wanna play it out in early game so he's gonna be kind of uh, aggro with his mini pecker that's fine for us we're just gonna use our tesla he is gonna fall for a bait and he is gonna um, earthquake our tesla this is gonna give us a free expo guys so right here we're just, he's gonna defend with uh, skeletons he doesn't have enough um, he did have enough elixir but he didn't react fast enough so we're gonna get a huge expo connection right here guys. He's gonna earthquake very late and that's gonna give us around a 5 elixir lead and we can freely rocket here guys. So this is one thing you have to remember. If you have a lot of elixir, you have, if you have like a lot more than your opponent, you're free to rocket and you won't get punished for it. 
So right here we are gonna rock it and take his tower down to 1174 guys. Alright, so he is up by Elixir, he's gonna cycle his skeletons and all we're gonna do is just cycle our um ice wizard at the back. Alright, so okay, so right here he is gonna use his ice golem to tank for his bats, but we're completely fine because we have our ice wizard defending. And he's just gonna send out a naked mini pecker and I don't know what was his thought process right there. We're just gonna use our knight to clear that out. We're gonna log this uh, firecracker. Our um, arena tower is gonna take that out. So, um, so far we just played this very reactively and he made a big mistake by earthquaking very early on in the game against our Tesla. And we were able to explore freely and take a, take a lot of damage from him guys. So right here we're just gonna rocket cycle here and make sure we don't give him a lot of spell value. So we, we're gonna like start changing our Tesla placements and we're gonna use our ice wizard. We're gonna use our nado in different like ways so that he doesn't get a lot of value. So right here, he is gonna go very aggressive with his mini P.E.K.K.A. but all we're gonna do is just use, use our Ice Wizard at night against his mini P.E.K.K.A. and Tesla and Nato versus his Hog Rider. So right here, he is trying to get in some chip damage with his Firecracker, but none of it's working. So a very, very good placement by um, Titan right here to set up his Tesla very high. So he doesn't get his tower. So he doesn't get our tower and the Tesla. So right here, our opponent's trying very hard to cycle back to another Hog and trying to get as much damage as he can through chipping but uh all we're gonna do is just saw um rocket cycle him out and that's gonna be game guys so that mistake early on in the game really cost our op opponent his um opponent the match so right here our tesla is gonna take out his mini pecker and his hog and we're just gonna use our tornado log and cycle him out and that's gonna be game guys so this is a very very um good matchup if if, he, if your opponent doesn't use his earthquake properly so right here we're just gonna cycle back to another log and that's gonna be game guys. So that's gonna be the end of the video guys and uh